lesson today we are going to learn the most simple and powerful method for improvisation. The magic with this method is that you don't need to know any theory at all, but still you can play all the sounds that you want, the 9, the 6, the sharp 11, the sounds from the altered scales. You have everything inside and there are only two things that you need to know. One is the form of a song. In this lesson we are going to learn minor swing by John Reinhardt. So, you know, we start with A minor, you know it's A minor, and then you see a shape of chord, A minor. And the second thing that you need to know is how to use the shape of the chord. So, you know the, the form, you know there is an A minor, and the second thing is you need to see the shape and what to do with it. All right, and it's simple, as simple as that. Now, of course, you are not playing only the notes of the triad. You can play around it. And then you get all the sounds that you want, all right? So you see one shape, you improvise around it. I will show you how you listen to it and you get used to what sound you like over each chord. All right, so let's start. Minor swing starts with the chord of A minor. Right, and the shape that I want you to see is this one here, very simple shape A, C, E, and A. All right, start improvising over this shape now. You can play only the notes of the triad, and you can also play around it. It means that if you see this shape you can play half tone below each note of the shape and you get all right half tone below each note half tone below a half tone below e half tone below c all right so one exercise is you can also play twice When you play it fast, it sounds great. All right, you have A minor. You can use it. And there is also, there are also the notes that are above the chord tone. All right, these are the chord tones. What about the notes that above? You can play a diatonic tone ab note above or chromatic. Now let's use the diatonic. So here we have this note, one diatonic note above. So when you see the triad, you can see the note below, the not above, the note above, and then the target note. And it means we call it an enclosure. And you hear Django plays a lot of times phrases like that. We have the target note here. We play half note below, one tone above, and we close on it. You can do it for all the rest of chords. Or... And you can create... Beautiful melodies that you just... Play this and other notes from the scale, from the triad, and you can mix, you know, the sounds. Try to experiment. You can also add a trill down on the target note, up one tone above, full of half tone below, and the target note again. You can play it for all the notes of the triad. All right, and now just experiment this one chord of A minor. I play A minor six here. And try to experiment playing half tone below. And the chord. what sounds you get, all right? It's a very beautiful idea. You can also 
treat the notes that around the triad as a legitimate note that you can jump to. For example, I will play this and I will jump to the note which is one tone above the target note. You can bend to this note and jump to the six, for example, one tone above the five. Don't think numbers, think the shape and notes around. And listen to it. If you love the sound of them and get used to the sound, and this is the first chord of A minor. The second chord in a minor swing is D minor. And our shape is this one. All right? And now the same thing. Play D minor or D minor 6. And start improvise over the notes of the chord. These are only the notes of the triad. Now I can play half tone approach. I can play the enclosure. Half tone below, one tone above, and the root. Half tone below the root, one tone above, and the root. Half tone below the root, one tone above, and the root. For all the strings. Here is my first root, half tone below, one tone above, and the root. The second root, half tone below, one tone above, and the root. Third string, fourth string, and so on. Half tone below, tone above, and the root. With the trill. Alright, here is my root. Down, up, tone above, pull off. Half tone below and the root again. Same on the second string. Start with the root, tone above, pull off, half tone below and back. And here. And here. Experiment the triads of D minor and A minor and then we are going to the chord of E. Alright, and here I will show you a major triad of E. Alright, this is the major triad of E. G sharp, B, E and G sharp again. Alright. Now all the shapes are very close one to another. A minor, D minor, and E. Sorry? E. Now we need to keep up with the form of the song. After you experiment each note, ah, okay, with E again, you can play half tone approach for each of the notes. Let's say that here I will add the enclosure will be chromatic. So for each note, I will add a chromatic note above. So the first enclosure is, this is the chord. Here is my target note, half tone below, half tone below, above and the note. On the second string, half tone below, half tone above and the note. On the third string, half tone below, half tone above and the target note and the fourth string. So you have
And the second end closure is with the trill. So I start on the root note, down, up, half tone above, pull off, half tone below, and back to the root. And same on the second string. I start on the target note, half tone above, pull off, half tone below, half tone above. Same here, start on the target note, and same thing here. So we keep it simple, you play half tone approach for each note of the chord or you play uh, enclosure with half tone below each target note and half tone above each target note. Okay, now let's see if we can keep up with the form of minor swing. I will put a playback of the chords and let's see that we can follow up. A minor, B minor, E, and A minor again. D minor, A minor, E, A minor. This is the form. Let's do it again. A minor, D minor. form I make it a little bit more simple you know in the in the original chord you have B flat and E7 but if you play it like that when you improvise you don't need to think of it now we are talking about the improvisation we sing of A minor D minor and E and now once you have these three shapes let's hear how you can improvise with this shape triads now maybe you want to start but I played the triads with the note below and above okay so maybe you want to start by playing only on the notes of the triads to make sure that you feel the form and you see the notes it would sound like that <laughs> to play all the time all the you can create melodies and the way to create melodies or one of the ways to create melodies is to play motifs to play with notes to play the same ideas the musical ideas so it can be rhythmic ideas like and in the next chord and in the next chord change the motif all right so when you use a motif and you repeat the motif and you change it over the chords so you can play one note from a minor and then from dm that's what i think i did now they are the two notes from E. It becomes melodic, all right? Melodic, and then your improvisation shines because you repeat the same ideas again and again. Later on, when you want to, you know, play faster and build up the energy, then you can play faster and use the rest of the triads and add all the, um, all the you know, we talked today about half-tone approach and enclosures. 
it can be pretty fast if you want. Listen to it. I will start. Very simple. I want to build energy. And more. I played very simple. I, if you take a minor, half tone above the target, half tone below the target, down, up, down, up. Over the third string, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up. All right, and then. You play very fast, but you, are, you see only the shape, the simple shape of A minor. So you see, you can play fast, you can play uh, melodic ideas, you can play uh, dissonance that are below or above the chord tone, you can play consonance, which is inside the chord, you can play motifs, so many things by only visualizing these basic three shapes. Now, if you want to take this idea further on, there are more shapes. For each note of the chord, here for example, we started from the root. So this was the first inversion of A minor, all right? Then we start from the third, one, two, three. So this is the second inversion. And then you have this, this is the first inversion. This was the root. First inversion when we start from the third degree, and second inversion when we start from the fifth degree, which we had here in D minor, it was D minor from the second inversion. All right, and the same thing for major chord. So you have three shapes to learn for each chord, that's all. But I want to make this uh, lesson very, very simple for you. So only three shapes. And see how many interesting things you can do with it. Take this idea, experiment with it, enjoy it. And if you want to expand it and learn more uh, shapes and more ideas, you know, all over your fingerboard, then you can take it to the next step. Cheers. <laughs>